And now, to present VES's 2017 Lifetime Achievement Award, General Manager and President for Pixar Animation, Jim Morris. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, really pleased to be here among so many friends and colleagues tonight to give Ken his Lifetime Achievement Award. My uh, first impulse was to um, bitterly roast him and rip him apart. But um, as I thought about it, since many of us have spent so much time doing that, I uh, instead wanted to kind of honor the work he's done and, and uh, pay tribute to him. I met Ken 30 years ago when I started working at ILM. We've been good friends ever since, and I've had a ringside seat to watching him make remarkable contributions to the industry that I feel in many ways have uh, changed the landscape of visual effects and filmmaking. And I think to understand Ken and what makes him tick and why he's so good at what he does, we really have to wind back to the beginning of his career. He started as uh, some other noteworthy visual effects people we've honored had um, at Cascade Pictures doing TV commercials and animation. And Ken did a lot of things there. He, um, he did sculpts, he built sets, he built puppets, he did stop motion animation, uh, he did camera work, and um, a little bit of everything really. And I think this broad hands-on work that he did, this depth of experience really stuck with him and he became very facile with pretty much every tool in the visual effects box. That command and conversance with those tools grew and I think really came to their first big nexus in the Star Wars films. Uh, Ken's work just burst forward on the screen in Return of the Jedi and that film actually garnered him his first Academy Award. He has left a distinctive mark uh, on each of the many, many films he supervised and I think one of them was particularly transformative to the industry was Who Framed Roger Rabbit with its amazing blend. <laughs> amazing blend of obviously visual effects animation but also so greatly honoring the practical side of our effects business. The projects that I've seen Ken take on have always seemed to be uh, among the most complex but he always seems to come up with a straightforward, simple way to attack the work. Um, I think Ken actually has a genius for visual effects, and I mean genius in the true sense, not the cliched sense, that he can actually look at a problem and instantly see a solution to it. Or he certainly fakes his way really well if that's not the case. But I like to think he has a beautiful mind, a beautiful mind to visual effects. He. Ken's early work obviously was in the photochemical era, as it was for many of us, but he squarely jumped into the early digital fray with the broad sweep of invisible effects that fueled the remarkable Forrest Gump. And that is one of the films that obviously um, set the standard in many ways for a whole genre of invisible effects that, that we have now and we celebrate. Uh, for digital effects that are far from invisible, just look to Ken's work in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Uh, every shot in that film is absurdly complex, uh, but it flows on the screen with, with ease, grace, and purpose. Ken's accuracy and economy have been of a different order as well. To say it another way, he gets a lot of work on the screen for the money, which obviously is a critical element in recognizing a director's vision. I remember talking to George Lucas about a project we were bidding one time, and, and he said, um, yeah, get Ken to do it. It'll look great, and it won't cost much. <laughs> High praise indeed from George Lucas. Ken's work does look great, it always looks just right. I think his roots as a cameraman and his exquisite still photography work have really given him a keen, keen eye and an exquisite sense of taste. The VES Lifetime Achievement Award is bestowed by the Board of Directors and recognizes an outstanding body of work that has significantly contributed to the art and or science of the visual effects industry. 
I uh, struggle to think of anyone more worthy of this honor than Ken Ralston. Through a long, long list of pivotal works of cinema, Ken's style, taste, innovation, and leadership have really raised the bar for all of us. Thank you very much. Yikes. OK. Uh, first, I want to thank Mike Chambers for finding a way to finally get me to attend the VES function. <laughs> well, that worked. I also want to thank the VES for giving me this award. Believe me, I, I'm sort of stunned by the whole thing. But I, I've always been intrigued by the image of this moon with this rocket jammed into its eye. It's, it seems so painful, but again, I think it's a great award for the VES and for visual effects in general. <laughs> There's a lot of pain attached to it, but a lot of fun, right? Uh, you know, I got up this morning and I looked in the mirror and there was this old fart staring back at me. <laughs> And it scared the shit out of me because I knew that guy was getting the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. And I think the reason this award's been so strange for me is because in my head, I'm still that 14-year-old kid animating clay creatures in his folks' garage and just kind of having fun and figuring out problems and just enjoying myself. And I never thought in a million years it would turn into a, an entire career. And, uh, you know, some of my inspirations, actually my, one of my main inspirations, as a lot of you know, was the, uh, the work of Ray Harryhausen, who, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and uh, Ray's work meant a lot to me, and also I look at my career, I think what a great career to have where someone I idolized could turn out to end, ended up being my friend. And it's an amazing thing. And then I try to figure out, well, what's, what's special about, you know, doing this work? Or what, what, what is, what's so much fun about it? And I think one of the main things that I, I really enjoy is on any particular project, I get to work with a huge, amazing group of talented artists that isn't, yeah, I, I don't even know where another group of people is like that in any other business. And it's all of you folks. It, it's the people here and all over the globe that you get to join your brain with, sort of mind meld, and get into this sort of artistic furnace, I'll call it. And I love that. It's very addictive in a good way. It's a good addiction to have. And I get a lot of energy from that. And it's a lot of fun, too. And fun is something I always try and find in the work, no matter how hard and painful and miserable it can be sometimes. <laughs> but and it's something I also hate to do is name drop, but here I go. So actually, Jim mentioned this a little bit. When I first started, I worked at Cascade Pictures, and Dennis Murin was there, Phil Tippett, John Berg, David Allen, people like that, and occasionally Rick Baker. And then I got to go to Industrial Light and Magic. Thank God, Dennis brought me on as an assistant. That seemed to work out. And Dennis was there, Phil Tippett was there, John Berg was there, and David Allen was there off and on. That's funny. But then there was a lot of other people, too, that really have, I, I owe a lot to. And it's uh, like John Dykstra, Richard Edlin, Doug Chang, Scott Farrar. Thinking about you tonight, Scott. And then I came to uh, Sony Pictures Imageworks and the people like Jay Red, 
Jerome Chan, Debbie Denies. And every place is filled with so many people that I owe so much to, believe me. It, uh, it's been an amazing time. I still have fun doing it, no matter how beat up I get. Anyway, the, uh, the two people I really owe the most to, <clears throat> excuse me, for that 14-year-old kid in that garage animating this clay, I really have to talk about my parents, Bob and Doris Ralston, who, no matter what I was doing in that garage, they had just nothing but unconditional love and support for what I was doing. And that's a really special gift. They must have thought, I can't even imagine what they were thinking. They probably thought I was destined, maybe not for this career, but probably for some kind of insane asylum or something, because that's what it must have looked like. But they never let on, and that really is a, it's a really great gift for everyone who has kids who are acting peculiar. <laughs> Give them a lot of support. So anyway, I wanted to, uh, by the way, <laughs> it's not too late for that insane asylum. I'm still working on that. Anyway, thank you very much, everyone. This means a lot to me.